Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, we got some things done I want to go over with you. And I want to apologize first of all for it taking so long between the, this and my last video. Uh, there's been several things going on for that. But uh, one of the main things is it's just been so hot. It's just been really um, like soup outside. I mean the humidity and the temperature. It's in the 90s and 60 and 70 percent humidity I mean it's just been killer so I really can't work out here when it's like that and I certainly can't spray or anything like that so but we've had some nicer days last day or so and hopefully this week it's going to be better so we'll, hopefully we can get more done anyway I'll show you what we've done so far as uh, you can see this is the uh, the trunk lid and I uh, wrapped or lined the inside the not the top side but the uh, the underneath and it turned out pretty good um, I didn't spray it I went in because I didn't have one of those shoots guns that you know and I uh, you can get that uh, roller kit for about 20 bucks and I, I kind of wanted to try that anyway and I, I think it did pretty good I, by doing it this way I didn't have to take this down to the bare metal and um, which I really didn't want to do because they're so complicated it's so many curves and things like that on it so I think this worked out pretty good now you, if you can see uh, I wouldn't recommend this for somewhere that was going to be highly visible I don't think but we'll see I'm still gonna coat it with a paint it uh, I'm, I'm still gonna paint over it to be honest even though I blended the uh, tinted the color uh, as you can see we got the uh, um, uh, this is that uh, rubberized, um, uh, it's not a seam sealer, but it goes underneath these types of frames to give it support, but it stays flexible. Uh, I know 3M makes some of it, and uh, SEM makes some, and that's the one I used. And it, it seems to work pretty good. That's one of the reasons I've got to paint this yet, is because I couldn't get that Raptor liner to go over it. Um, I basically dug out the old because it was like a rock. In fact, some of the rattling that I was getting where that stuff had just turned bit brittle and broken off inside of there. So I dug all that out and, and then I filled basically where the original had been. It was not continuous underneath there. So not on this panel and not on the engine hood either where you have this framework. So I basically replaced where it had been and try to do that. Um, so we've got that done and like I said I am going to spray that with uh, with paint when I do the other do the other panels. Uh, I wanted to show you what we have done on the uh, this um, convertible top cover or at least the idea that I've got for it. Um, what I'm going to do and I had this idea, and then I was watching somebody, I, I looked at somebody else's car that was for sale, and they had done the exact same thing, which kind of made me think, and it looked really good. So I was like, well, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not crazy. So I, I'm going to take um, some of this very thin styrofoam, and this will cover our repairs. And that's kind of what, what gave, what I wanted. It was something that would do that. So we're going to, we're going to, glue down this styrofoam over each one of these wells and then this is the vinyl if you remember I got a roll of this from England and we'll cut this to fit and, th and, and that will glue over the styrofoam into these wells and so this will all have to be painted first obviously but then we'll put this on and then we'll put that vinyl over top of that and tuck it in underneath there and it'll make a nice padded vinyl look to the inside of this and I think that'll look good and it'll it'll serve our purpose of covering uh, our repair uh, let me know what you think uh, like I said I saw somebody else that had done that and I was like wow can't believe somebody else had that idea and that it turned out that well uh, let's see we worked on the uh, water pump went ahead and put that pretty much it's ready to install I've got some new lock washers that go with it um, uh, we've got the shims cleaned up and everything's painted put back together uh, so that's pretty much ready to install I've got the uh, 
the radiator, if you remember, we got a new, uh, our, uh, our refurbished radiator from uh, Midwest Bayless. And I went ahead and got the rubber on it and also the ring here where the water pump mounts and everything, the fan does anyway. And um, so we got that, that's pretty much ready to put back when the time comes. And I think it turned out well. I, I used the blue because I had it and I thought eh, it gives it color, get a little contrast in there instead of just the solid black on everything. So we'll see how that goes. We got some new parts. Um, I just ordered this and just got it. Midwest Bayless had it. It is the left engine splash shield, engine compartment splash shield that goes underneath uh, in the engine. And you guys that have 850s, you know what I'm talking about. This is just uh, the left side. I don't have the right yet. Uh, I believe Mr. Fiat has the right side, but it's pricey. I mean, it's like 300 bucks. So I can't do all that at once, but um, one of the time, at least we know that we will have that. So I wanted to go ahead and grab that. This is much more reasonably priced than Mr. Fiat's. Uh, the other thing we did was we got some uh, Midwest Bayless had uh, the uh, seat springs, the seat return springs, which I didn't think I was going to be able to get. But I check their site often because they, they get things like that in. And that's what you should do if you're restoring one of these cars. Um, so I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking for some reason there's four of them. <laughs> Two on each side, but I don't believe I was right. I believe I'm, it's only, uh, let's see if we can see it over here. Yeah, you can see the tabs where the springs attach. And then they attach uh, on the other end to the uh, to the seat, the bottom rail of the seat. I was thinking there was two on each one, so I ordered four. So They weren't pricey though. They were only like four something a piece. But uh, if anybody else is restoring their car, I didn't think I was going to be able to find those. I was just going to try to match something up. I, they weren't with the car when I got it. I don't know what happened. But, um, you know, let me know in the comments or whatever, and we'll, we'll work something out. Uh, the other thing we did was, remember, we talked about the door locks. And I went ahead and took them to the, um, this is only the one that I've already removed, and had it uh, had it rekeyed. And so just the one uh the lock will fit the keys will fit both of them so but it was it was ninety dollars so it was not cheap but now they will work they will lock so i think small things like that add up make a difference um again wasn't necessary wasn't absolutely necessary but uh you know i think when you're doing a complete restoration that kind of thing counts so anyway, that's pretty much what we've got done so far. I apologize, we haven't got further. Uh, certainly not my intention to, to drag this thing out, but uh, I am limited with the um, with the weather like that. I mean, I, that, this heat's been brutal. So um, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below for me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And um, I did uh, work on the hood. On I can't show you because I'd have to flip the the trunk lid, but if you remember we had that dip in it, that belly, and uh, I was not able to pull that out. So I just had to um, um, use uh, Bondo and, and get it, and I got it pretty pretty straight, pretty, uh, pretty level now. And it wasn't too thick. It's about as thick as I'd wanna go with Bondo. But uh, under the circumstances, I had little choice. So anyway, uh, like I said, comment, like, and subscribe, and we will get back to you as soon as we get more, more progress.